Hey everybody, back to the project, Chevy Venture. Um, so one of the things, so I'm back together with the transmission. Everything that I took apart for that fourth gear clutch hub is back together. The only thing I have to do, sorry if I'm yelling into that microphone. The only thing I have to do is flush the uh, transmission cooler and cooler lines, make sure there's no bad fluid in there. And all I really have to do is fill it. Um, back to the cylinder heads. Uh, the first thing I'm, I've done here, um, besides, you know, literally complete everything I took apart for the transmission, I got the subframe back where I want it for the cylinder heads because I do have to lower it for that. First thing, uh, order of business though, is to flush this cooler, uh, this heater core. Um, I don't think there's any issues with it, but it was kind of acting up like like it was getting clogged or something but i honestly think it was that head gasket causing everything to go haywire but who knows so what i did here though so i had a, I had a couple of things obviously you get the hose out and run water through it it's winter it would make a big mess and uh, i don't have any running water out here in this garage i'd have to hook up you know all the way to the house and um so then i was like well i have a fluid pump Maybe I could just pump, hand pump fluid through there, but the one I have is for, you know, transmission fluid and whatnot, and it would take forever to clean it. So what I did here is I went with the simple kind of gravity setup. Um, this line right here is the lower line. So on a heater core, um, it's flowing, um, you know, it's going in. In fact, let me think here. I'm getting, I'm confusing myself. Um, basically it's flowing in from the top, you know, draining down the core and then coming out the bottom tube. So when you back flush it, you want to be flushing up through the bottom tube. That way all the debris that came in, you're literally kind of helping it get out where it came from. So anyways, look that up though. I, I just confuse myself because it's, uh, you know, and some of the vehicles might be different, so look at your application. So all I did here though, is I hooked up a, this is the outlet, I got a big old empty jug. This fits right in. Let me put it in here carefully. That fits right in, that's all sealed. I got my, uh, my thing here. I'm gonna lift it up here, but you get the idea. I'm pouring water in right now. I just kind of pour it till the funnel's full. It starts coming through the thing there. And as soon as the water gets through the funnel, I run air through it. And that's the third time doing that, and I'm gonna call it good. So, obviously you got the flush, you got the power of the air pushing the water through. And then of course, just doing it by gravity, if you don't have air, will at least you know, help you clean out some of that bad coolant and hopefully the, any debris. If your heater core is actually, if it actually does have enough buildup to get clogged, best thing to do is, is to, uh, well, the best thing to do is replace it. <laughs> but not that you'd want to do that because it's a pain in the butt to get to uh, in most cases. Um, but the next thing you can do is obviously make sure that everything else is running great, but get you some of that, uh, you know, Prestone, you know, coolant, you add it in before you do a flush. And what that's gonna do is kind of run through your system, really kind of scrub everything, and hopefully that will help break up some of the debris. Then you go through and do a thorough flush. And if you still have issues, you might just have to replace the heater core, so. Anyways, I just wanted to show this real quick. It's a pretty cool idea. Um, this is going to be done. The next part I'm going to work on is cleaning up, or in fact, literally the next part is getting the coolant out of the block because I want to get all that old coolant out of there. I also want to make sure there's no, uh, you know, debris that fell through. Um, basically, clean the deck. I want to inspect it, and then of course clean each cylinder head, inspect it, and then I can finally lay one down torque it and then I'll come do the front so anyway over and out I'll probably do some time lapses <laughs> I said no that was like that I'll probably do, do some time lapses and uh hope you guys enjoy any questions at all on any project you're working on um you know my background is a automotive and light truck 
technician literally at a general shop so we saw all kinds of stuff give us a shout and then if i don't know the answer i can ask others so um if you need any help out there just give us a shout over now Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, I, I can't really get a good camera view back here, but here's what I've been doing. Um, I've got each piston cleaned. Um, the cylinder walls will clean, kind of clean themselves. My next task is to get this dirty coolant out of here. Um, in fact, I could probably leave that until I put this rear one on thinking about putting the rear one on and then um, basically uh, rolling the engine forward and kind of sucking the coolant out then but who knows I just wanted to show you this real quick I'm basically just cleaning everything up I still need to inspect the uh, inspect the uh, inspect the deck <laughs> no no uh, pun to uh, Wu-Tang Clan here but um, Literally, I need to inspect the, uh, let me just take these out, see, the, see this V6 in all its glory here. So I need to inspect uh, this surface, make sure it's straight and not warped. The way, the best way to do that is with this, uh, a, a known straight edge, like a metal ruler. And then um, hold it in several different spots with a really bright light behind it. And if you see light on the bottom, along the bottom, you know that there's a little bit of warpage, so. Um, this thing did not overheat that much at all, so um, I'm hoping I'm just gonna find everything's hunky dory. You know, it was still running when I when I uh, you know when I started working on it. It's not like this thing totally just died, so that's good. Boy, the one thing though, this thing is covered with this dirt. It's just like a grimy dirt. It's everywhere. Ugh. That's what I was doing in the beginning of the video. I was trying to get it all off of here because every time I brushed up against, it was like a bunch of dirt going into the engine. So, obviously I'm doing a lot of time lapsing. Um, my main goal is to get this done. I really, I love to film this stuff because it's, like I've always said, it's something I'm doing anyway, so I might as well just film it, but man, Getting the right angles and all that is, is kind of a pain in the butt. So hopefully in the future I'll be getting some better equipment. And um, you know, because my goal here is to, is to share my knowledge. Uh, I've learned a lot over the years. I mean, literally I've been working in this field since uh, pretty much 1999. So 20 years in the, uh, you know, a lot of it was maintenance and stuff like that um the, the no, half of it was just maintenance and kind of the basics and then that, the other half was true diagno diagnosis and repair so literally man give me a shout out let me, let me know what you're working on Wait, let's work through it so i just want to share you know what, what, I've, what i've learned from others you know over the years so so this back is cleaned what I'm going to do now is clean the uh, rear cylinder head because I want to get this installed before, um, you know, rust starts to kind of set in and whatnot. Um, I'm going to get this thing up there first thing. First things first. Uh, let me get another Bungeezy cold here. Bungeezy. 
Yeah, part of part of working on stuff is just getting getting your workspace figured out so you're not fighting like you know, get stuff out of your way. You know, crank the engine back. You know, take the time to prepare. Uh, I really wish I would have power washed this engine before I started working on it, man. It is ridiculous. But, man, this little powertrain has been doing us good, and it's fun to kind of get in it. Yeah, I'd rather be doing something else right now, but, um, you know, it's fun, though. It's still fun working on all this. You know, I love fixing stuff. It's really, it's just always been my, my jam, so... Anyways, before I really buzz down this whole front area, let's do this. We're gonna change camera angles and go over to the kind of the workbench. And we're going to um, clean up this rear cylinder head. And hopefully, if I can get that rear one bolted down tonight, I'd be, I'd be glad. And of course, this rear exhaust is ready to go. I've got the new new uh, gasket in there. Oh, I was just gonna throw it back together, but I figured, you know, the other one was flat as a pancake, so I might as well just replace it. So let's uh, change positions here and go over to the other work. Okay, ladies there. and gentlemen, we're gonna do a regular video through this one. Probably time-lapse through the uh, sec, the front one when I do that. Probably won't be tonight, but, um, so here's our rear cylinder head that's flipped over. You see this whole area here is where my issues really were cropping up. You see right here, in fact, let me pull the gasket off. And um, I've done, I did the video before, but I just wanna show again that you see just a complete, complete breakdown um, to these little coolant, you know, little areas there. And then you can see just specifically right there how it just entered the cylinder you know this ring was compromised um it would slowly fill up and then of course along the way here the rest of them weren't too far behind so there's our gasket that's our culprit i'm gonna take both these gaskets now and kind of just brush them out kind of got a uh, parts parts um I'm going to haul a shame, but I, uh, well, I have a hoarding problem. <laughs> anyway, this is kidding. All right, let me take these bolts out. I believe these are all the same size. Let me flip it over. Um, already, this is filthy. I just can't stand the amount of filth. Not that I don't like dirt, but I just hate getting the, the nastiness near these uh, delicate uh, you know, engine parts, you know. So we're gonna flip this bad boy down. It's gonna take it out like this. Now I got, did get new bolts, it's highly recommended. Um, just look up in your service manual or whatever information that you're using for torque stuff. Um, they recommend new bolts. You know, they're, not that, they're not that expensive, so. Sometimes they can stretch. It's called a stretch bolt. Um, where you absolutely need to replace them because they literally stretch when you torque. So it's like a one-time use. These look like just normal bolts, so they're just gonna recommend to replace them just as a, uh, I wish that thing went auto was focused, sorry about that. Just as a, uh, hey, they do, they hold down a lot, so we'll replace them, basically. Um, this whole area obviously will be cleaned here later. I'm gonna change the spark plugs. Let's flip it back, so I know the longer ones are on the intake side. Um, but you can always tell on the deck height of the, the bolt surface anyway, but no sense in, in confusing yourself, just keep everything, keep everything uh, as simple as possible. So, um, you got this HR valve. So I'm gonna leave these manifolds on. I'm looking over here for evidence of any exhaust leaking. Uh, I'm not even gonna unbolt this. You know, I hope I don't have. I hope I don't regret it later. But um, it's nothing was leaking. I'm literally just getting the head off. So let's clean this head up. Um, I'm gonna run the plugs out. 
Yeah, this one over here is the uh, electrode. Oh, let's, let's take that out in fact. Check this out. There's another one for the books here. Get these out of here is something we gotta do anyway. Um, okay, well, oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. Um, this thread, this hole has tough threads. So let me, um, yeah, this one's thread out. Oh yeah, but I'm gonna have to re-thread this. This is, this is kind of derailing the nice plans here because when I put this plug back in before this number I think it's what number one from the hardest part basically the hardest one to get to and um, what's it called uh, yeah and I put it in before and it was just like so tough to get out or to get in and out. So let's see here. So this is cylinder five. It's looking decent, but the gap was getting huge. Um, obviously, you saw that I broke them loose with my hand. You never really want to just go all in with your air gun on the, especially the aluminum. This is stuck. So I'm just going to use it for a little bit more leverage. Oh man, that is, woo! Oh no. Crap, this type of thing where, you know, it's cold. Um, don't want to like crank that off and then suddenly bring all the threads with it. You know what I'm saying? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little bit of PB, a little bit of PB blaster. This is among my favorites. We're getting uh, stuff loose. WD-40 is uh, obviously a great universal. Uh, this one, man, it's just. One of the top notch, so let me do this here. Let me uh I'm gonna clean this. I don't want this one to just get totally out, so let me cover it real quick. Yeah, I hope this basically a thread repair. Um, I'll probably be able to walk this thing out, but it was tough to go in before when I put that plug in. So what that means is these threads are already, have already been damaged. So it would be foolish of me to just leave it. Because you know, repairing these threads in vehicle, this is right jacked into the firewall, so. Um, again, this is a 2001 Chevy Venture, so um, I might, I'm gonna let that probably soak in a little bit, guys, because I'm not gonna play with this. I could probably switch gears and put on that front, put on that front um, head. I might have to do that. In which case, I'll just do the time lapse again over here. So let me figure stuff out. So again, what I'm dealing with here is on this cylinder, not only did the head gasket fail, which what I'm gonna do is kind of clean through here and see how much damage that that actually caused. In fact, let's do that real quick. This thing, thing I should have done this weeks ago. I really should have, guys. Um, Let me find the wire wheel. Let me find the wire wheel. 
Um. Well, darn it. Can't find it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, here it is. Yeah, alright. Yeah, of course, the tools. All the parts. So I need to go ahead and investigate this, make sure this guy doesn't need to be shipped out to a machine shop because uh, this ain't looking too good. I should have looked at this a long time ago, but let's see here. Um, let's get off. Be careful with this stuff. Alright, so. Let's see here. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, um, I went ahead and just wire wheeled, um, light, lightly wire wheeled each uh, head. This is the rear one, this is the front one. Let me see if I can zoom you in here without everything falling apart here. So, this is the area of the head that, um, was leaking in and it's hard to see from that angle but basically if you can all see there is quite a there's basically some it's eaten away here let me see if we can get a better angle in fact um basically all this you can see the ring of the old gasket it's actually sunken in just a teeny bit here and this area is a little bit low so basically this whole surface needs to be resurfaced so what I already should have done is I should have had the manifolds off um, you know all the peripherals I should have had them sent out to a machine shop have them all prepped that way right now I could actually just put them on <laughs> but no worries I guess I was expecting just to find perfect heads but um, that was pretty foolish to think that actually. But alas, it is all good. We will kind of put this project uh, on continuation status. I'm gonna lube up that rear of the engine that I already cleaned up. Um, let's get rid of this here. But so this engine is so filthy. Next time I definitely need to Basically, uh, yeah, now. Uh, make sure I, um, uh, I can't remember what I was talking about, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, oh, yeah, pressure wash the engine beforehand. This thing is filthy. So you can see the front. I haven't really cleaned anything there. The rear is looking really good. I'm going to lube this up with the WD 40, that way it doesn't start rusting. And I'm gonna get uh, in touch with, with the machine shop tomorrow. Maybe I'll actually be able to like vlog the trip to The last machine shop I used was Coker's. But first thing what I gotta do guys is get these heat shields off, get the manifolds off. Get that uh, big old thing off there. Engine mount thing. I gotta go a teeny bit deeper into this project before I can start going back together. I'd be foolish to put this together. I probably, you probably could get away with it you know, with a brand new gasket, but definitely uh, make the, uh, the gasket life very premature. You want to obviously a flat surface here, so I still need to double check the block. The block is, uh, you know, iron, I think. Anyway, so it's a lot more resistant to warpage than these aluminum heads. But this thing, these aluminum heads, they just got kind of eaten away at, from, you know, from this other, uh, you know, from driving. This thing has a 
a lot of miles on it, so. This one actually looks pretty decent. I probably could get away with just doing a better uh, resurfacing with, a, with an abrasive wheel. But this one here just has a little bit too much going on with that whole area. So we're gonna have them go through it. Plus the threads, I still haven't got this plug out. We need to redo the threads on that. So a little bit more to fix. No biggie. Project Venture. I'm slowly coming to uh, completion here. Let's do a quick. Boom! Everything is together over here. It's so awesome. So, everything's all good to go. So, one step closer. You gotta get these heads fixed up. Should have already had it done, but we've been piecing this thing together anyway, so it's not a big deal. Over and out, last into your garage. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I always say that when I enter, but I want to do a little cameo. Um, <laughs> boy, the voice behind the camera because I'm not actually having to do the work. Um, so because now look, if I was totally like busted. And we didn't have any extra money to put in this thing. Um, I would go through the process of cleaning all these passages out, cleaning the coolant passages out, and just resurfacing the, the cylinder head, you know, the mating surface of the block as well as I can. Um, because this thing was having so much issues with that gasket over time, I'm gonna take these to the machine shop. Um, hopefully it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. I actually don't even know. But they could at least help me with the re-threading re of this spark plug. Did that correctly? I know that's gonna be an issue. I'm gonna try it again, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna have them deal with it. Well, I'll probably, they'll probably charge me for an extraction. So I'll get that out of there, we'll film that too. So I'm going to take the shields off, the manifolds off, this mount, this little bracket, and then get that plug out. So let's do a time lapse. What do you think guys? Time lapse or just watch me do it? Where are we at here? A minute? Uh, let's do a time lapse. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, just a quick recap. So in the time lapse, I don't know if you saw, this stud was basically broken already. So I'll do another video of attempting to extract that. I should be able to do it. If I, I'll know right away if it's gonna be tough and I'll, I'll just have the machine shop do that if, if it's a pain in the butt. But, um, Either way, we'll have to get a new stud, and we'll get that nut off there, but so that one is right there, right up front. And then, of course, the uh, spark plug that, as you can see here, the, uh, I think it's the electrode, the part that swings over the arc there, is totally eaten up. Do you see that? Um, Totally, it was getting so hot in there. So that's why I think, again, the head, which, so that, that tang there should go all the way out to the outer edge of this, of the, uh, the core there. So, I don't know, maybe five millimeters is gone. And then look at the valley here. Look at where the coolant was leaking. Look at that. Let me get down right on the surface here. Let me see if it'll focus. Sorry, everybody. This is kind of cool, though. Um, oh, I'm losing. I'm so sorry, buddy. 
All right, we're fully focused. Anyways, you can kind of see there how it's really rough. And you wouldn't want to just throw that, throw that in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So sorry about the rough video, everybody. I just want to show you guys a little closer look. I'm gonna do an attempt to this and to this. I'm gonna do a definitely an attempt to this tonight. Um, but this one I might have to do tomorrow or another day. So over and out. There we go. Oh. 